If you follow our channel, you know that the whole Mercedes E-Class range is being updated. Now it is about the powerful AMG versions. Let's take a look at the new Mercedes E63 AMG. Or as they say officially, here for this, wait for it. Mercedes minus AMG E63 Formatic Plus Saloon and Estate. Phew. The front grille and the Mercedes star are larger now. In contrast to this, the housing of the standard LED headlamps is a little flatter now. The otherwise optional LED multi-beam for an extensive high beam support is standard here with the E63. The LED signature now only shows one stripe or curve. The front splitter is either kept in the color of the vehicle, like in the base E63, or in silver shadow standard for the S model, or in high gloss black with the optional AMG night package, or last but not least in carbon fiber with the optional AMG exterior carbon fiber package. The hood looks strong with these design accentuations. The wheel arches are also a little wider now to stress the strong look. Wheels start in 19 inch, optional or standard for the E63S are 20 inch. There are new styles, also aerodynamically optimized ones. Another expensive option are the ceramic brakes. Especially the E63 sedan gets very different tail lamps you can see here. Kind of looks like a bigger A-Class now from the rear, doesn't it? Well, okay, you can criticize that. On the other hand, the rear does look slimmer and more agile with these. Other than that, there is once again a massive fake exhaust alert for the trapeze-style exhaust beauty tips. The rear here of the estate hasn't changed that much. Well, a little bit, especially what's going on on the inside of the tailors. Biggest update in the interior is the infotainment system. Standard setup now is 2x10.25 inch and optional 2x12.3 inch screens. Already the smaller dual screen setup comes with a new very good MBUX infotainment unit that features a natural voice input. Hmm, here BMW puts their big infotainment screen as standard in their high trim models. Mercedes obviously doesn't do that. Why can't they just deliver the E63 with the bigger screens as standard at this price point, which is double the entry price? The E63 also comes with special sports gauge styles, also with the super sport mode with the central round ref counter. The interior features a new steering wheel. This AMG steering wheel shows two horizontal button areas with a gap in between. The buttons do deliver a kind of feedback but they are rather integrated than standing out. The new steering wheel looks fancy from a distance, but that these new integrated buttons look cheaper or feel cheaper if you compare them with the galvanized real buttons and jog wheels that were there before, you can't deny that. Cool, you can also get the AMG steering wheel with microfiber cover. Furthermore, the steering wheel here includes a round dial for choosing the driving modes. Important for assisted driving, the steering wheel now is capacitive. Before you could receive false negatives from the lane keeping assist when you're driving a motorway just straight, warning that you are supposed to keep your hands on the steering wheel. Reason for that is that the steering wheel had a movement sensor and needed to be moved from time to time. Now it just realizes when you do touch the steering wheel, that's of course better for that kind of function. There is a step backwards with the seating. Animal skin surfaces only, which is, even if you put the ethical factors aside, which you shouldn't do, but however, even that, then it's not sporty at all. The strategy of the AMG management has always been more conservative than the rest of the whole brand. Two seat forms are available, either the standard sport seat or option you can get the performance bucket seat, which is actually quite uncomfortable, at least as our testing goes. So we strongly advise to stick with the base sport seats unless you have tested them really yourself and find without a doubt that the bucket seats are better suitable for your body. 
As engine, you'll get the 4 liter V8 bi turbo with 571 or 612 horsepower in the S model. Acceleration figures are 3.5 and 3.4 seconds. And the estate model is 0.1 seconds slower each. The automatic transmission uses multi clutch technology, by the way. Yeah, and all the time manufacturers were telling us that so much horsepower wouldn't work with multi clutch, so I need a torque converter for that. Mm. As for suspension, the E63 comes with the AMG Ride Control Plus, which is a three-chamber air suspension with a very stiff trim, so you don't feel anymore that it is air-based. Still, the dampening changes according to the driving modes you have selected. The standard all-wheel drive is rear-wheel biased, however AMG promises free torque distribution. In the drift mode, you can make the E63 rear-wheel drive only. Well, to be very exact, this is reserved for the E63S model. The standard autonomous emergency brake now also recognizes crossing traffic and reacts accordingly. The blind spot monitor now also offers a feature that it warns while standing still, for example when cyclists approach from the rear. And the 360 degree camera was improved and is now panning when moving the steering wheel. That is done electronically with the chosen part of the image. The camera itself does not move physically. Furthermore, the Distronic Adaptive Cruise Control will now take map data into account and can reduce the speed in advance before a traffic jam appears in the line of sight. Parallel, the car gives back information to the cloud of existing traffic jams. The Lane Keeping Assist also takes emergency corridors into account now, so it aligns left at the left lane and right at the right lane and being stuck in traffic jam, so emergency vehicles can still pass without all cars aligning to the middle. That can indeed be a problem with existing traffic jam assistance systems. With the new so-called Urban Guard, Mercedes by the way now extends the theft security. For example, you can receive messages to your smartphone when someone tries to break into your car or when someone hits your car while parking. Urban Guard Plus furthermore adds GPS tracking to share with the police. Yeah, the E63, that could be one that is also liked by burglars. And now to the conclusion. The new Mercedes E-Class facelift makes the E63 models, the top sporty ones, even bolder on the exterior, whereas the interior changes give you more up-to-date infotainment system and everything all digital, even though the top screen size should have been included in this AMG model. Same as for the BMW M5, Mercedes do not give the customer the choice to pick non-animal leather seating in their very top sporty models, which makes no sense. In driving, there is a wide span between the non-AMG E-Class and the AMG E-Class models. The E63 will remain quite a rough companion, released just a day after the M5 update. Game on, right?